Uh, hello everybody and welcome to episode 6. Uh, we've got some notes with us this time so we don't forget anything. Not that we've forgotten a lot up until now, but just to, you know, just make sure. Uh, this episode is from Golden, BC to Vancouver. So it was a fairly long day, but we packed a lot into it. topic of bridge. Well, there was a bridge. There's a really cool bridge, and I usually hate bridges. I like this bridge. That's all. There's a cool bridge. It was the one you see that was, like, the water was very high and very, it was a very skinny wooden bridge, but tunnels, we went through a lot of tunnels mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. between Golden and Vancouver, and it was really cool. Anything else? I don't know. No, that's yeah, it. That's it? That was pretty easy. Salmon Arm. We went to a town called Salmon Arm. We discovered <laughs> a, a tiny hidden gem of, we should probably Google that, how, what the population actually is. Of Salmon Arm? It seemed to be a fair size. Yeah, it was a good size yeah. uh, little town, yeah. city. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I've said is I always want to retire to a place where there's a lake and mountains and stuff and, and we were in Salmon Arm and you'll see it coming up. And, there's a uh, lake and mountains. Yeah, it's a really nice place. And we just stopped there on a whim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the <laughs> Coquihalla Pass, or the Coke, I guess. I'm not sure if we're pronouncing Coke, it correctly. Coquihalla. Yeah. Kiowa. No. Yeah, I don't know how to put it into um, words. Like, in, in the video, we kind of touch on it, but we were so busy driving that we didn't take a lot of video. It's, um, it's a very steep pass, but the road, basically, it looks like they took the road and decided that we're just going right, or took the mountain, I guess, and took the road and decided they were going right through the middle of the mountain. So they just went up and over and down. So it was a very steep climb and a very steep descent. And it wasn't yeah. horrible, horrible. I could see why it would be bad in the winter. But, yeah, um, it talks about it. You read online, it talks about the highway being, you know, terrifying. It, 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 it's a... It's, it's one of the things that we found was we were driving in the mountains. We were not used to it. I yeah. was not used to it. Uh, and everybody who lives there is just bombing along. Doo, 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 <laughs> and I'm like, ah, the whole time. <coughs> and it wasn't so. so bad when we were driving, like on, like up the up high in the pass part. It was the, the going up and coming down because there were mm -hmm. shelf roads and they were, they were, you know, a couple thousand foot drop on either side. It was pretty scary. So I guess that's about it for the intro. Yeah. 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 We'll see you again in episode seven, unless you've got something to nope. add. All right. See you later. Day 752. We are still driving. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I think we called yesterday day, I don't know. Four, we think three, it's day five yesterday. Today's day six. Today's day six. We know that, we counted. We counted. Seven. We were totally off yesterday. We'll have to correct that in yeah. the edit. Anyway, um, we're starting off, it is, wow, 7.03 in the morning. <laughs> Holy cow. Emily, it was like up and like, let's go, let's go this morning. I'm still not quite awake yet. It is 10 o'clock in the morning home time. Yeah. So, I mean. Uh-huh. It's not like we're making up. It, 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 it makes sense in my head. Okay. But anyway, this is our final day on our way to Vancouver. Uh, we're gonna stop at a gluten-free bakery for Emily first thing to get some breakfast and then we're on the road. Uh, we'll keep you posted along the way. Okay, last time, oh, this is the last time we're crossing this bridge. Wow. Water's higher. Yeah. Oh, it's going pretty fast. Mm -hmm. You have the right of way, you have the right of way. Good, but I slowed down. Mm -hmm. Just in case, I was making sure. You got lots of room on this side. I got lots of room on this side. Awesome. This is great. It's slippery and wet. It's great. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, dude.
so we just passed into the Pacific time zone, I think it's I think called. So. And we jumped an hour back and it is now 7.18 in the morning, which, hey, we just gained an hour, that's cool. And also, I missed the sign, but we've just entered Glacier National Park as well. And I know we've said it before, but the camera on the phone just doesn't do it justice. Oh, the camera on any camera. Well, yeah. Yeah, unless you actually see it. Which, you're seeing it, but... Large areas are closed for avalanche, avalanche control using, using explosives. explosives. Ooh. Well, that's a sign I have never seen before. Nope. Cool. Let's see what our, our elevation is dropping quickly. Which is fine. I yeah, like, yeah. I like driving in the valleys better than the sides of the mountain. How's that happen? Here we go. We actually found a tunnel. Oh, it's not a very Yay. long one. Oh, maybe it is a longer one. Short one, then a long one. Reduce speed. When lights when flash. Lights oh. so other than that, it's 70. Oh, geez, he's not. They just fit. Woo! We're in a tunnel in the mountains! How sweet is that? It's not much of a tunnel, you shall see on the other side. It's true. But there's another one up ahead, so. Yay! We're in a, another tunnel. Come on. Get out of the tunnel to go to another tunnel. <laughs> I want to drive through a tunnel, damn it. Oof. We need to get a camera a little here. I guess we're still going up. Yep. Tunnel number two. It's side wet. Work. It is wet. There's a motorcyclist way behind us here. Yeah. Or a couple behind us. He's making me nervous. Keeps, it doesn't matter. I was going to say, don't worry about him. He's trying to get my... There we go. End of this tunnel and into another one. Three tunnels in a row! Woo! Sweet. I hate how you keep saying that. But it I'm is! Oh, look at over there, you got mountains, snow. Yeah. Maybe there, where is the motorcycle? I don't see him anymore. He didn't make it. Oh, that's funny. That's not <laughs> I, I don't funny. know. Maybe he pulled over. Or maybe it was just a. This is this is awesome, man. Did Jay tell us we'd be going through a million tunnels? No, he just saw. We, he just said we'd see a wolf on the side of the road eating a deer. Well, that's if we don't see a wolf saw. on the side of the road eating a deer, we'll be like, look, you promised us <laughs> a wolf. <laughs> and then all I got was these stinking tunnels. Yeah, but it's cool. Okay, it is a little cool. I'm not disagreeing, but a wolf would be cool. Number six, five, five or six. I don't know. We have trouble counting. Apparently, <laughs> days of the week, time zones, tunnels. There's so damn many of them. Yep. See all the snow still coming. Okay, last time my phone got too hot, apparently, and that's why it timed out. But look what we found more tunnels. More tunnels. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Oh, these are like a two-way. This is different. Well, that was fun. So fun. <laughs> oh, oh, 
another one. Goody, there's Yay! another one. Thank God, because that wasn't enough fun. <laughs> okay, these are all right tunnels, though. I got to admit, I'd rather, you know, these are these are, these are foolish. Really? Tunnels. I like the other ones better. What are the, the ones that are like under the ground? Oh, no, no, the one that was like divided. Oh. Like this has got traffic going both ways, right? Oh, no, I'm at like going through the mountain, one mountain. Oh. In Kentucky or somewhere. It's oh. like a tunnel just well, like straight through. I the haven't mountain. been through that, so I couldn't say. But that's why I was commenting. Fair enough. Is this another one? We have street lights, that's why I'm wondering. Uh, yep. yep. <laughs> another one. Yay! Ooh. Avalanche, it's gone over it apparently. What is that? It's over it going inside. No, that's what that was. No, but that's good. That's why this is here. Well, so the road doesn't disappear. Oh, there's a passing lane coming up. Two kilometers. Oh. You, guys, you guys can all relax now. Speed has up to 100. Yes, which is why they're all itching to go. For these tunnels. Look, little waterfall up ahead coming oh, up. Oh, nice. You missed the last beautiful one. Oh, oh, yes. I this one on the side this of the one, road? Yes. There you go. Mm, not as good, but still pretty good. Nope, oh, yeah. Still pretty good. Nice. Alright. Oh, and another one. Go around this corner see if there's a another there's tunnel, tunnel, and if not, then. Gosh. Stop the video for a while. There's oh, a break check jack. coming. Well, I guess we're going down a big hill soon. <laughs> yep. And we're still waiting to see a mountain goat on the side of a mountain. As big horn sheep. Yeah, sorry. Big horn sheep. A boy, I keep, big I keep horn sheep. That. I know. A ram, as they say. All right. So Emily and I decided to stop just for a break from the mountain driving at Salmon Arm BC because salmon don't have arms and it's a really cool name of a place. So we thought we'd stop. Wow, we're glad we did. Yeah. So this is a great big pier that juts out into the lake. Which, by the way, is Shawswap? Shawswap Lake? Shawswap, I think, yeah. God, and it's, it's absolutely huge. huge. Yeah, this is just a part of the lake. The lake goes, well, we've been next 1, to it. 1,000 kilometers of shoreline. There you go. We've been next to the lake for the past hour, I guess. Now we have to Google the size of Lake Superior. This isn't Lake Superior, the world's largest freshwater lake. Yeah. No, this isn't anywhere near as big. But, but it's so still big. cool. Oh yeah, yeah, a thousand kilometers, but it's all, yeah. it's got all these arms, like three arms. Yeah. That's cool. Glad we stopped. Mm -hmm. And then as you can see, the weather's cleared up, which is really nice. Everybody. 7.3 kilometers. Continue onto Cockwahalla Highway North towards Yellowhead Highway 5. Oh, there you go. You just heard it. We're headed towards the Cockwahalla Highway, <clears throat> which is supposed to be a mess in the winter time, but in the summertime, I guess we'll find out. Hopefully, it's not that bad. We're gonna take turns driving, etc. And uh, yeah, we're just leaving Kamloops. Stop for a quick snack and we're on our way so I don't know if our videos show 
the uh, like the steepness and the and the dangerousness of the Kokala Pass. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I saw it referred to as the Coke uh, as a short form, so I'll say that because that's a lot easier. But I found this graph that's really cool. It says like over so many kilometers how high the elevation goes. So on the way up into the mountains, it was steep, but it was okay. Like you, I see how transports wouldn't want to be coming down there too often. But on the way out uh, from the top of the pass down into Hope, uh, like it was like 40 kilometers and it dropped from 1300 meters down to like 200 meters. So like it was like 8% grade. It was steep as anything. And it was a shelf road. Now, yes, it was a shelf road that was, you know, a four lane highway, but it was basically road, skinny little guardrail, and then a thousand foot drop off the edge. So it was pretty it was a hairy drive um and i can see how people you know are scared of it and in the winter time there's no way i'd want to attempt this road in the winter time oh my god alan is so breaking alan is so happy he's getting a tunnel and okay. an eight percent grade and an eight percent grade this is a steep grade y'all and i'm super excited that we get to drive back up it uh, it's a three-lane tunnel. All the tunnels that we went through earlier, I drove through. So now we get to go through one. And here we are, Alan's first mountain tunnel. That was wow. fun. Wow. Oh, another one. I don't know, you might get another one. Might, might. Might. We'll keep you all posted, don't you worry. If Alan gets another tunnel, we get another video. So we've made it through the Coquila Pass, or the Coquilla Highway, Coquilla. and it was pretty hairy at moments, I will agree. We'll try to get more footage on the way back. We'll try, we'll see. We'll see how much is left after you edit out of my anxiety. Yeah, it was really steep going up and really steep coming out of it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I can see why they call it a scary highway. But anyway, we're past that. We're past Chilliwack now and headed towards Abbotsford. And we are an hour and a half from uh, my kid's place in Vancouver. So, what are we, five days later? Two thirds way across the country? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is six days? days? Yeah, I can't get it. We straight. had this whole conversation. This yeah, morning, we did. So, regardless, <laughs> Six days later, we were originally planning to do it in five, yeah, and we added, thinking. yeah, we added in an extra day, which I'm glad we did. Yeah, <clears throat> and we pushed a few days that I'm glad we did too. And uh, so we're almost there. We have to edit all this, of course, and uh, we'll do a little bit more, and then we will get more for the longer drive home. What's that, part two, part three? Maybe we'll split this up into yeah. little bite-sized pieces because nobody's going to watch this other than us. And I don't want to sit down and watch a three-hour video of us driving across the country. Well, that's because we, well, that's the other thing. This is all, this is all us driving. Yes. Probing. Is that? So we're coming into Burnaby, you said? This is the, what did it say? Port Moody Bridge? Looks like. So see, this is a cool bridge. I'll do this one. Good. We need that. That'd be fun. So we're 40 minutes away from my kid's place. We have a whole bunch of traffic, but it's cleared up. Not sure exactly where Vancouver city limits starts, but this looks like a good start. Anyway, this is us going over the bridge. Ooh, look at it.
that's it for this episode, everyone. The rest of the drive into Vancouver to Jasper's place in English Bay is just more city driving. So, well, nobody wants to see that. That's pretty boring. Um, we spend a total of three days in Vancouver. We go to Granville Island, which you'll see a very short video of. And then we do take um, a day trip to Vancouver Island to actually get to and touch the ocean. So that was pretty cool. That was a first for both of us. And other than some pictures of our grand kitty squash here at the end, I guess that's about it for this episode. We'll see you in episode seven. Thanks. Like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you'll get notified when the new episode comes out. 